All right guys, today we are talking about the Honda Grom. One of my favorite toys that I own, aside from the S1000, but the Grom has been a fantastic bike. It's a lot of fun. And honestly, I still think that everybody should own a Grom no matter what other bikes you have. They're just fun to tool around on. So you should get one. If you've purchased a new motorcycle or a used motorcycle that has not had this upgrade yet, you know how crazy ridiculous the tail section of these bikes look. They've got this giant thing hanging off. It's just ugly. It's supposed to hold your license plate and the blinkers and all that junk. And it looks terrible, but there's a fix for that. And on this particular Grom, I thought that I could wheelie and turns out that I can't. <laughs> and rip the uh, factory uh, license plate off of there. So we're gonna replace that today. And thankfully, the awesome people over at Kemimoto sent over their version of the Fender Eliminator kit for the MSX 125, the Fender Eliminator kit. This particular kit fits the 2017 to the 2020 model of the Honda Grom. I haven't opened the kit yet, so we're gonna do that together. And if you have a Grom, the 2017 to the 2020, and you're looking for a Fender Eliminator kit, and that's why you're watching this video, I'm gonna give you my honest review of this thing. And if I like it, I'll give you guys a discount code towards the end of the video, that way you can buy your own. But with that being said, let's get the box open and see what's inside. All right, so this is the box that comes in, obviously just a small little box. All right, so the first thing we got is just some uh, little bits and pieces. Obviously, these are gonna be all your bolts, little grommets and stuff like that. Instructions. And the Fender Eliminator Kit, which is actually feels pretty good. First impressions of it coming out of the box, I have to say this piece right here feels really sturdy. And if you've ever installed a aftermarket Fender Eliminator kit on a Grom or anything like that. I've got another Grom, I used another product and I had to actually cut part of the stock Grom. I had to modify the way the, the Grom was, which kind of hurt a little bit. But uh, with this one, you don't have to modify anything beyond repair. Basically, if you wanted to go back to stock, you could with this particular kit. The other nice thing about this one, from what I'm seeing so far, is that this is a solid piece. Whereas other Fender Eliminator kits sometimes are three different pieces just to get everything put back onto the bike, which can be really, really difficult when it comes to lining everything up. So the fact that Kemimoto has this single piece, I think this is going to be a breeze to install. And then of course, they send you the uh, little instruction manual, um, but they actually call it a complete journey of dreams, which I can appreciate that. And as a man, we know that we typically don't look at these things, but I will go buy the instructions just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. Like I showed before, we've got this little packet of goodies right here. We've got some nuts and bolts and some grommets and stuff, which I'm assuming we're gonna use for the install. Like I said on this one, I already, this is already gone. Like the fender is already gone on this particular grom because it got ripped off. So we are starting with nothing. We've got the uh, tag light hanging there uh, by a wire. Uh, but we're gonna be uh, doing the install here, so let's jump into it. To access this, all you have to do, you pop the key, you pop the key into the side, and then the seat pops off. If you have a Grom, you probably already know how to do this, but uh, I felt like I had to tell you that anyway. Once you're in here, you're gonna have all your wires in here that run from here all the way down to here, and we're gonna get to that here in a little bit. But first, we're gonna talk about getting this installed underneath the bike. And as I sit here and I look at kind of the hardware that comes along with this, it appears to me that we're only gonna need really two tools. These two tools are the T45, a little star bit here on the ratchet. We've got a 13 mil wrench. And it appears that these are gonna be the only tools I need to install this Fender Eliminator kit from Kemimoto. So for most of you guys, you're not gonna have all this stuff taken off yet. You're gonna still have your stock Fender on the bike. So you're gonna to have to remove that first, but it's really simple. It's really only four bolts and everything kind of falls out. Uh, I still have the stock license plate light sitting here, which we're gonna be putting onto the Kemimoto license plate uh, holder. Everything takes all the stock stuff. So I'm gonna be using the same blinkers, the same license plate light, everything. Now I've got this thing kind of plugged in already just because I've got it hanging here. I didn't wanna lose it. But in order to get this installed into the new Fender Eliminator kit, we just gotta unplug this. This is gonna, kind of tucked down in here you'll find the, the little plug that holds all the wires for your blinkers and your tag light so we're just gonna pull all this stuff out of the back now we've got the tag light out the uh, the tag light itself is actually hardwired into the harness 
and then you've got these quick disconnects right here that are gonna work for your blinkers and uh, yeah anyway it's kind of one solid piece here now we got to get this thing prepped for install and by prepped it's really all we got to do is take the wiring harness the tag light and all that stuff and fish it through the holes that they've got in here they left plenty of room in here as you can see to fit all this stuff in here so all we're gonna do is stick this stuff through from the outside going in the biggest struggle for this is all this rubber these little rubber boots that honda puts on all their things that's the biggest struggle. <laughs> but once we get those through, we'll be good to go. That's the nice thing I really like about this Kemimoto kit is that it allows you to use all the stock components from the Grom. So it doesn't look all weird and Frankenstein and everything else. Everything looks really, really good. Like it's supposed to be like that, so. And now that we've got that fish through there, again, we're using basically all the stock Grom components. We've got the, there's a little rubber seal that goes between the bike and the tag light and that, using the stock ground one it literally fits perfectly the way that they've got this whole thing machined um, the other thing to keep in mind is if you can hold on if you have them i hope you still have them but the uh the original hardware for the tag light itself because this kit doesn't come with any additional stuff for that so you're gonna have to use your stock stuff which is fine if you lost it got rid of it or whatever the case is check out your local honda Gram groups i'm sure you probably have one i know we do here in tampa and i'm sure somebody has some of these laying around but if you have them go ahead get them installed real simple like and also for the record i haven't really looked at the instructions yet i knew i said i was going to but it's pretty simple all right, so I might have lied a little bit. You, you're going to need another tool. You might need another couple tools, maybe another one for the blinker install. But for the, uh, the tag light, you're going to need an 8 mil wrench. That way you can tighten the bolts on the back. And there you have it. we got the tag light mounted. Again, this is the stock mount. Or this is the stock light, and it's mounted onto the Kemimoto. Looks clean. Now, I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong way to do the next step, but I'm gonna go this route and hopefully it works out for me. Obviously, I've got the tag light on, which is hardwired into our harness. We've got the blinkers that we still have to install on here, but I'm gonna do that last. Before I do that, I'm gonna get this thing mounted onto the bike. I gotta fish this up through the bottom and we're gonna do that before we do the blinkers. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna fish all of our wires through here next. Like I said before, they did a really good job of machining the holes large enough to get all of your wires through. Unlike some other products where you have to sometimes, sometimes you gotta bore holes out just to be able to get the stock wiring through. It's just a pain. Kevin Moto did a great job with this, I must say. We got this nice little rubber grommet next that we're just gonna push into this hole. We're just gonna keep the wire from rubbing on raw metal and rubbing a hole in it. All right, and then from here, we gotta fish this up through this little hole right here, back into the bike. Pulls up through here. Real simple like, and then that's where this piece right here is gonna end up mounting. We're extremely close to finishing up this entire install. It's literally taking me like no time at all. The only thing we gotta do now is we got four bolts and nuts that we've gotta get into the bike to hold that Kemimoto fender eliminator kit onto the bike, and that should take no time at all. Let's get into it. And basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna use these supplied hardware pieces here. They're gonna go through and we're gonna put a nut on the back end and that's what's gonna hold this plate on, super simple. In their kit, they give you basically a bolt, a nut and a washer, super simple to the point. And the way that you install this is that these bolts come up from the bottom and then you put a washer on top of that and then put it down with this locking nut. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all these started by hand before I go and torque them down. These back bolts are a little tough to get to if you've got some bigger hands, but you can do it, I promise. If you can't get to it, go find your, uh, go find your wife, girlfriend, use their little hands. I'm actually really, really impressed with how well all of these holes lined up. I've done a bunch of aftermarket fender eliminator kits before, and I can't tell you how many times the holes do not line up. But their aftermarket holes for this kit line up exact. I don't have to shimmy nothing. Everything just lines up like it was stock. Now that we've got those hand tightened in there, again, we're gonna grab the, what is this? This is a 13 mil wrench. We've got the T45. 
In fact, I'm gonna swap this out for this part. I'm not gonna use the wrench. I'm actually gonna grab a socket. And I think the socket's gonna be the best bet for this. Just because it's so tight down there, trying to get a wrench in here is gonna be a little difficult. So if you can, just use a socket on it. I'm just gonna tighten it down. Anytime I do this, I recommend doing it in a cross formation. That way everything gets snugged up evenly. Similar to if you were doing, putting a car tire on or something like that. You don't want to just go around the go around the pattern and do them all in order. All right, we've got everything kind of snugged up, so now we're just gonna torque it up a little bit more. Imagine it doesn't have to be too tight. All right, we should be good. This thing's on there pretty good. Now, before I get too crazy and wire everything up, I just want to make sure that this thing's good. It feels pretty solid. I think it's gonna work. All right, so the next step is we just have to get the blinkers installed on the side there. And they're just the stock blinkers. That's all we're using. We're gonna put those up in there and we're gonna run the wires back up through here and get all that stuff plugged in. Again, we're using all of the stock hardware from the original Grom. Let's get this thing wired up here quick. We're gonna add one more tool to the kit today. We've got a 14 mil and this is only being used just to put the stock blinkers back onto the bike. There's a nut on the back of these that you have to tighten down. And that's what we're using this for. All right, and a little word of advice, unlike I did where I tried to put the blinkers on last after I already mounted everything to the bike, just put the blinkers on before you do all that because it's kind of a pain fishing all those wires through by themselves. But if you were to do it, if you were to put the blinkers on to the Kemimoto Fender Eliminator kit before installing the whole kit to the bike, it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier for you. So just do that. All right, now that we've got all of our wires through here, we can go ahead and plug all this stuff back in. These are great. Uh, they're, we're, again, we're using all factory connectors, which is awesome. We don't have to splice any wires or anything like that. This loom right here, all this does is it just fishes back down through here. And there's a little bit of a, it's like a little metal holder thing. You just run everything under, nice and clean. Push that little, uh, it's almost like a built-in little zip tie thing or something like that. But it's a little metal thing, it'll wrap around the wire so it keeps everything nice and tight in there. And you just grab this. And you plug it into here, factory connector, real simple. And just make sure you get your little rubber boot down here, cover everything up. These little rubber boots that Honda puts on everything, a lot of manufacturers do that for a purpose too. They're kind of a pain in, pain in the butt, but they do a good job of keeping dirt and debris and everything out of your connections, moisture and all that stuff. Keeps everything nice and clean. You just get that thing pushed back in there, good to go. Now this is the part where we're gonna plug in, obviously these wires right here. We've got all of our major wires here. We've got our grounds and our power for our blinkers. So we've got our green to green. Again, factory connection, so nice. There's no guessing where wires go. Everything's color coded. Although I will say this, make sure that when you take your factory uh, blinkers off, you make sure that you keep track of what size which because if you put them in backwards, you're gonna hit your right blinker and the left one's gonna go. Good rule of thumb is that you've got your two green wires from each, you got a green wire from each blinker, which is gonna be your ground. Then you've got a different colored wire for uh, the uh, hot. So your orange is gonna be your left blinker, your blue is gonna be your right blinker. So that's just a, a good way to remember which side to plug in. Put that boot back over that, tuck it to the side, and at this point, everything's done. So the next step is just to turn the key and make sure that everything works. All right, now that everything is on there, I'm just gonna use this thing just to move this thing around. <laughs> it thing's pretty, uh, it's pretty sturdy. If I can pick up the whole bike with this thing, I say it's pretty strong. All right, now for the moment of truth, make sure everything works. We've got a tail light, which we didn't touch. We've got the light there for the tag, as you can see there. We got our left blinker, got our right blinker. There we go. All right, so that's the install. As you can see, everything's super sturdy. This thing's amazing. We've got the light, we've got all of our stock lighting on here, which is amazing. 
I'm a big fan of visibility and whatnot. So to be able to have the stock taillight, the stock blinkers, the tag light, all this stuff kind of in one solid piece without that giant ugly thing that the Grom typically comes with, I think this is a great fit for this. All right, so we've got the whole kit put on. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with it. The install took a lot shorter amount of time than I thought it would. A lot of these aftermarket parts are kind of hard to install. You've got to modify things and whatnot. This is extremely straightforward. You literally, you've got four bolts that are just gonna hold everything to the bottom of the bike. It's obviously extremely strong. I was moving the bike around by the, uh, by the fender eliminator kit itself. So I would say that it's gonna last. I think it's gonna do okay. And again, I really like the fact that we can incorporate the stock lighting on the bike. I'm a big fan of being able to be seen out on the road, whether that's daytime or nighttime. So the fact that we can have these big old blinkers on here, it just, it's nice. It's a good fit. And then also if you wanted to do some aftermarket uh, blinkers and stuff like that, you could obviously do that as well. But the fact that this will allow you to use the blinkers that you already have is awesome. And I think this kit probably runs around $30 or so. And like I said before, I'm gonna put a link below for this product. And I'm also gonna give you guys a discount code. I'll lay that out right here, maybe. We'll see how it lines up in post but I'm gonna give you a discount code for 10% off if you would like to grab one of these for your Grom. Again, this thing is good for the 2017 to the 2020 Honda Grom, and I approve of this thing, it's awesome. There's no major modifications that have to take place to your Grom. If you ever wanted to go back to stock, or if you sell your Grom and you wanna keep the aftermarket stuff for your next one, you can take the stuff off. You can put your stock stuff back onto the Grom, and it doesn't look like he did anything. There's a bunch of people in the market right now that are selling aftermarket parts for the Grom, especially for the Fender Eliminator, as that's probably the first thing that most people buy when they get a new motorcycle. And out of all the ones that I've tried, I actually have a box of about four of them, and all the other ones actually are multiple pieces that you have to try to line up when you're doing the install. Again, like I said earlier, the nice thing about the Kemi Moto one is the fact that it is one solid piece. You don't have to line anything up. It's just one solid piece. You attach all your stuff to it and you're good to go. It doesn't get any easier than that. So as far as aftermarket parts go for the Grom, I give this thing a big thumbs up and I invite you to try it out for yourself. You're gonna love it. Anyway, until next time.